There's this quote, the truth is what is right for you will come to you and stay with you and won't stray for you for long. Kiki was never lost or searching, but instead she was allowing for what is meant to be to happen. Kiki found Eric. And I know whatever happens that my sister found her person. No matter what, they will have each other and that is so special. I wish them both a lifetime of happiness and joy. Cheers to Kiki and Eric. <laughs> I love you guys and let's have fun tonight, yeah. And love is what has brought us here. With the courage to come near. Chase yeah, really our of fear. With the light to carry, with the light to carry on. <laughs> Love is what has brought us here. As I mentioned, Kiki and Eric, that we're here one year less a day, right? And so now time is a blink of the eye in God's perspective, right? And so you're continuing that celebration when God brought you together before his altar. God's grace is always there to make up for our brokenness, our weakness. But he's also given you the grace and the strength and the diocrisy, the discernment to take the next steps in inviting him to make your marriage more, yet more perfect. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love it. Look at this thing, it's like a corset on here. Uh, yeah, I like that. It's a uh, unique, one of a kind. <laughs> so, enjoy the celebration. This is the first sign. John's Gospel talks about seven signs. Seven being a perfect number in the Jewish mind. But the first sign is this changing of water to wine. The first sign or miracle. And so the significance being that Christ now elevates our relationships, elevates our marriages because of his resurrection, because his, of his incarnation. Coming into the world, taking on our flesh, now he elevates everything about our anthropology, everything about our humanity. We are truly human now.
Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not arrogant. Love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. So, what's the best gift you can give her? My unconditional love? Uncon that's, that's the right, the right answer. answer. <laughs> unconditional love. And remember, I'll always say, yes, dear. That's the solution to every dilemma. Yes, dear. God bless you. Go ahead and kiss. Look upon these, your servants, Eric, Ioannis, and Vasiliki, whom you have joined together into one flesh, one heart, and one mind. Through their love for you, may they grow in love for one another all the days of their lives, making their life together a sign of the sacrificial love that your Christ has for the church and for the whole world. <laughs>